Hello friends and assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel I be all designing developer. Today I will show you how to build one amazing Next.js project using Next.js and this video will be really helpful for you to see this from start point. So you can learn one to one thing about Next.js and if you are new here and liking this video and learning many things from this video so hit a like to this video if you are new on the channel hit the subscribe button share this video with your friends and family members so they can also learn what are these languages how to work with that and how to make projects with these languages. So I hope you will be enjoying this video and also liking this so now we'll be starting with our project so like i said we will be just uh, building an amazing project using nextjs and i'll be showing you what project we'll be making but before starting the project i want to just open my uh, visual studio code here from my window so i will be opening my vs code you can also say the visual studio code it's a full form of that now there i have just uh, i am just getting the files you can see but we will be not putting these uh, with these files like you all know. So here I will be making a new window, closing this previous window here and making uh, and going to my command from here I will be making a new, you can say a new folder in which I will be storing all my files. So here I will be giving it the name as cd uh, local disk apps because I am making my folder in local disk app and I will be giving it the name as npx here, react tab. Then when you have written this react tab, you have to make, okay, so we are creating next app, so we have to write next. So I, because we are working with next yes. So I'll be writing next step, then you have to press enter. And if you are working with React, you can write npx create uh, React app. Now it is asking what is your project name. You can write your project name here, what you are doing. So I will be writing here uh, type four project. So I will be giving it the name as four app. You can see. Press enter and you can give any name you want. So now when you have given the name, you have to press enter and it will be installing some of the dependencies which you needed to work with your next yes. Like React, React DOM, and Next.js dependencies, it is installing. And if you are on Mac, you can use Yarn here. Uh, I am using Yarn, I have installed it, but I will be not using, I will be using NPM because I am on Windows. And if you are on Windows, if you install Yarn, so you have to use NPM while you have installed Yarn on Windows. If you have installed Yarn on Mac, so you can work with uh, Yarn on Mac. You can see not is installing some of the, uh, you can say, dependencies which we needed to work with our uh, Next.js. Now we have to wait a while, it will be not taking too much time. You can see it has resolved some of the packages and now it will be installing all the dependencies. Just it is checking, it has installed all the files. Yes, it is now checking and seeing like what problems are coming in files. It's not problem. So it will be just giving all the uh, like it will be just downloading our folder and our folder installation will be done. So there we have to wait a while here also. So if it is stuck at one place, not doing then, so you can press enter to check this. You can see now it is running and uh, it's running and it's pretty much. So here. You can just see by scrolling down here. So you can do the scroll or you can go to top by uh, scrolling this. So you can see it is installing some of the dependencies here. So you have to wait a while till it is installing. So now when you uh, when it will be done, it will be showing you all the things. You can see it is fetching the packages here. So if it is not fetching that or package, you can press enter. And now you can see it has created the uh, CD port means our port app folder in our local disk app. So here I'll be opening my local disk app. So you can press open folder and go to your disk which is local disk app. Where you have saved your file, you can go there to check your folder. Then I have just saved in local disk app my folder in my port app. I'll be opening this folder. When you have opened the folder, you can see we are getting all the files which we needed. So we'll be working with this pages folder. So I'll be going to my index.ps file. You can see we are getting all the files here. So I'll be doing one thing here. But before starting this, I want to run my server, so I'll be going to terminal and I will be writing npm run there. If you are on React, so you have to write npm start, and if you are on Mac, so you have to write next year, so you have to write npm run there. Now it is starting the server. It has started, so you have to open your default browser. My default browser is Opera, and I'll be opening my local host in there. So you can see now it has created the next step because we have not written anything, so these uh, things are coming here. And I'll be doing one thing, I'll be taking it bigger because I want my code should be bigger and this interface should be small because when we will be completing our project I'll be showing you all the interface by full screen there but uh, now when we are coding I want it small so you can call uh, you all can see my code differently now I'll be not erasing this head tag I'll be using all the main class or you can say all the main things which is written here till uh, this footer tag I'll be erasing all the things you can see when you have erased all the things just you have to do one thing here as you have to move to your uh, folder here means this one port app folder then you have to create one folder in this which will be named as components now in this components folder i will be creating files like we were creating in previous folder like header.js 
then I will be creating the file with the name of footer.js and last uh, file we will be creating layout.js and remember to uh, write .js and first letter should be capital of every file which you are building. Now we have to go in uh, our header class in ability RFC you can use react snips to work with this RFC now and here I will be raising this header written in this div tag do not erase from const and this default written here. Now I will be writing h1 tag so I can see my theme is coming or not. So I can just write here style uh, styling one. Save it. Then you have to move to your footer and do same thing here also RFC. Now just you have to do one thing. Uh, then you have to come here and do same thing here also. I will be just writing here styling two. Save this file. Reload here. You can see just nothing happened because now we have to erase this thing also which is coming. And for erasing this, first of all you have to go to layout.js. Yes, RFC here also same thing we will be doing. Now, just as we going to index or just saving this and you can see all the things has been disappeared because now we have not saved that because of that all the files are coming there. Now I will be doing one thing, I will be moving down, then I will be making a header tag here. So we have to make header, close this, then move down and same header we have to make footer also. Make footer here, then when you have created this, you can also write in layout if you want to write. So I will be writing layout. Now when you've written these things, you have to move down and when you move down, just you have to go to your index.js file and copy this head tag which is written here. When you copy from here, you have to erase this from this index.js file. Now here I'll be saving this, going to my header. Uh, sorry, going to my layout.js and pasting the head tag here. Save this. When you paste the head tag, you have to just do one thing here. Like you have to move to import tag, then you have to import the head. So go to in, uh, index.js file again, copy this head here. So when you have copy this head, you can use arrow key or you can press from mouse, copy this and erase this image and head from here because now we have copy and we don't need that. So here I will be saving this, moving to layout.js and pasting it here. Just you have to do one thing, you have to move down, then you have to import header which we have written. So I will be importing header, then I will be doing one thing, I will be moving down and you have to import footer. So import footer from there. Now when you have done that, you have to just close this file. You, uh, if you want to close, you can also close. If you don't want, you can also do not close there. Yeah. So now we are getting this. Here I will be doing one thing now. I will be going to my index.js file. And here I will be just making a layout tag underneath this return tag. So make a layout tag here. Close this. And now we have to import the layout also. So I will be showing you how to import. But before that, you have to copy this close tag here by pressing Ctrl C. Move down after this close this. Save this file. Error is coming because we have not imported that. So here I will be writing import layout. Save this and you can see we are getting the import layout here. And now here, when you are getting this, just you have to move here, uh, mean in this layout tag and then you have to write the title here. Then you have to just write the title in this what title you want. So you can just write any title like home page and be writing the title here. Save this, go to your layout.ts file. Then remember to write this title here. So I will be writing title. Then you have to erase the, uh, this create next step because now we have to write this title here. Save this. And when you will be saving that, so here you will be getting your uh, tag. So here I will be raising this meta and link tag which we are getting here. So I will be raising this meta and link tag. When you have erased that, save this file again. Then you have to move to this header.js and you can see we are getting styling one here. And in footer also we are getting this. So here when you are in your uh, layout.js, just remember to erase this layout which we are getting. So here I will be saving this file. And now when you just save that, you have to just do one thing here. Else I will be moving here down. Then uh, you have to just move here down, then you have to go to get bootstrap CDN. So here I will be moving, then I will be writing get bootstrap CDN, here I will be moving this because I will be moving here. So here I will be getting home page and now you can see we are getting our title also and our styling. So it's that some uh, while and if you are also getting that problem you can close and open that again so you will be getting all the things which we have written. So styling 1 we have written in header and in footer we have written styling 2 you can see. So this was the thing which we have written and now you can use layout here also. So here I'll be writing layout. So now when you've written this layout, you have to import this layout also here because we have import header and footer also. So import layout here. So I'll be importing layout. Press enter. You have to do one thing here. I'll be closing this. Save this here. And now when you have saved this, you can see we are getting all the things. Now if I move to my index.js file and write anything here. Like I will be writing H1 and in this H1 you can write uh, project, save this file and then you will be saving this so I think you will be getting that but here we have just uh, written so we don't want that it should be coming. So here I will be writing H1 in this 
uh, and then when you return this h1 you have to write new code there so save this file here and now when you will be saving this so here you have to move to your uh, index.js file and erase mini project from here which is here so here i'll be pressing enter press control we save this and now move to edit.bs layout.js file and we are getting this thing like we want now when you are getting this you have to go to bootstrap copy the cdn of css which we were getting here is the cdn of css now i'll be copying the cdn from here by pressing ctrl c copy this when you have copied this you have to just move here underneath this head tag and paste the cdn which we have copied now when you have copied and paste the cdn you have to just do one thing you have to paste this capital means go to capital then move forward and here you have to press enter after this entry given so there i'll be pressing enter now you have to do one thing here also like i'll be closing this and writing this code so i save here and now when you'll be saving that so here you will be getting the file coming here so it is giving error because of that i will just close that again and open this okay so you have to wait a while till it is this open so now when you will be opening that so you have to just do one thing here and now it is opening so i will be doing one thing here this i want to check that now you will be doing one thing if it is giving error to you again and again you can just run it again so i think we should run it again so we do not get any error okay i'll be writing npm run dev again press enter now you have to wait a while till it will be starting okay so it has started the server here so i'll be going to opera browser then i'll be opening it on local host 3000 then you will be opening it You have to just do one thing here. I'll be closing this. Then uh, you can see we are getting this thing, and here uh, I will be taking it to more bigger. And you can see we are just getting this like this. So when you are getting this, you can see we have to move to our header or JS, and here we will be using some of the class name. So you can write class name here, and then you can just write here H2, or you can say you can just write here yeah text center. So here I'll be writing text center. Then you can write p dash four. Uh, Save this, and then when you will be getting this, so here you have to do another thing. Yeah. So here, uh, like we were getting errors, so I uh, I have reloaded again. And when you are getting same error, so you can just use this call state to just get your error back. You can see we have written these all tag. Now you have to erase this mini, and you can see we are getting the mini project at the top. Then we are getting this styling and written here. This mini project is uh, in our layout, so we are getting this. And then we are getting. So if you want this mini project, should be coming here. You can just use here class name. And now here you can just do this here by text center because we have used this. Uh, you can see this bootstrap here. Save this. Now here when you are just getting this, you have to uh, do one thing here. P dash two. And then uh, just you have to do one thing here. Copy this thing here. If you go to header, and then you have to just do one thing. Save here, and you can see we are getting the styling center because we have written this thing here. Now I'll be copying this thing. Mean same thing. I'll be copying here and I'll be pasting it in my footer dot df file. So move here and footer. Same thing. Paste save here. You can see we are getting same here styling two. And then here we are just getting styling two from the top and it is looking awesome. You can see we are getting our text now. If you want some of the other things here, so you can just put here. Like I will be putting another div here. And then when you are writing the div, you can just put any class here of div if you want to write. So here. I will be just moving. Then uh, I think you don't want to put any there, so you can just use input. So I will be using an input tag here. So press Ctrl Z, write input. Then you have to write type is equals to. Then you have to write radio. And here when you have written that, just you have to save this. And now uh, you can see we are getting unexpected footer error. Save this file here. So here if I erase this, save here. So I'm getting that again. Now here you can use input. So I will be writing input. Then you can write type is equals to text. Then when you will be writing that, you have to close this tag here. Save this file. You can see we are getting the input. And if I write here radio, save this. You can see we are getting the radio button here. And here you can see how cool looking is that. So here it was the thing which I am telling you. And then in this input you can write here radio like this. Save this file. And when you will be writing the radio, so I think. Uh, it is down here. Okay, so it was down. So because of that, was not showing. So here you can erase the radio from here. Save this. You can see we are getting the radio button here. Now, if you want to put checkbox here, you can same right input tag. 
So here I'll be writing v for type is equals to checkbox. Then you have to close this tag here. Z, close this, save here, we are getting checkbox. So like this you can work with here. This uh, like this you can work with your next year and like that you can also put the buttons and other thing you want to put here. And now if I show you how to link a tag here, so you can write a h -hip. Then if I link Google from here, for linking Google you have to go to Google, copy the URL of Google, totally Google URL. So we are getting HTTPS this was not good URL. So here I'll be writing HTTPS all in slash slash www.google.com now when you will be writing you have to close this here i will be writing google save here then we are getting google now if i press this google i will be redirecting on google you can see when i press i am redirecting on google so if you want this will be redirecting with other window you can write here target is equals to underscore blank save this and then you have to press again google so you can see you are on another window and when I am pressing so I have another window and I am the user. So like that you can just build this amazing project. So today we have learned how to link a file with uh, how to link a file with other file using Next.js and this video was really helpful for you. I hope you enjoy and I hope you also enjoy this video like you enjoyed my other previous video. If you have enjoyed this video so please hit a like to this video. If you are new on the channel hit the subscribe button. Share this with your friends and family members so they can also learn these amazing skills and things. So I'll be meeting the next project for today. Goodbye.